thousands of miles traveled, but we're finally here. We're at my courtyard by Marriott in Columbus, Ohio. Come, take a walk with me, let's talk. So in 2015, I acquired this property, 150 rooms, four stories, and as you can see, there's nothing prototypical about it. I mean, look at these ceilings, four story ceilings. Indoor swimming pool, fitness center, all the amenities. This really is like a full service operation. We've got this incredible ballroom, but again, today is not about that. It's about the acquisitions process and what I've gone through in order to purchase this property. I've got an incredible story for you. The most difficult acquisition that I've had to go through in my entire career. Every property has a story. This one is of persistence and perseverance. The road to get there is long, but when you get there, you realize that you are just beginning. Remember when the odds are against you, don't look for an out, just look for solutions. This deal almost fell apart three times. Initially, we had all of our investors lined up, property under contract, due diligence period over, $500,000 had gone hard. The financing was committed from a bona fide CMBS lender, and then four weeks before closing, the lender backs out. So then the investors back out. Remember, I still have $500,000 hard. So we get a temporary hard money loan and close for 90 days. We find a lender. I fly to San Francisco, get my institutional investor to come back to the table. I fly to Washington DC, get my high net worth investor to come back to the table. Now we have momentum. It's day 70 of 90. We start drafting our operating agreements. Institutional investors attorney and high net worth attorneys don't see eye to eye. The deal starts falling apart again. So what do I do? I get on a plane with my attorney to San Francisco and come to an agreement and then get on a plane to Washington DC and finalize the operating agreement. Two days later, money comes into escrow and we finally close on day 90. Now today, we're gonna to be going over hotel operations. Hotel operations is the most important aspect of your real estate investment. Whether you're an investor or a hotelier, you better make sure you get your operations on point. What do I mean by that? I mean that it is an operating business. Hotels aren't just a piece of real estate where you buy and you just collect your money, collect your coupons, collect your dividends. It does not work that way. It is an operating business. You must be involved. What does that mean? You need a culture. Build that culture. Have your mission statement. Have your goals. Write them down. What is your organization or institution going to look like now, three years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now? Build those benchmarks and execute. Secondly, focus on your expenses. How much money are you spending to run this hotel? Be cognizant of it, be aware of it. Understand all those numbers, develop a matrix. Make sure you are more profitable. And last but not least, be mindful. We're in the hospitality industry. We have a culture of service. We derive happiness from the service that we provide to others. If that's not for you, if that's not in your DNA, if you don't like making things better and people happier on a day-to-day -day basis, well, you are in the wrong business. You are in the wrong industry. And I'll tell you another thing. Nobody, and I mean nobody, is gonna care about this property, about your property or your potential future properties more than you are. So don't expect anyone else to care more about your things than yourself. Hold on a second. Come in, come in. It's okay. Come on in. Come on in. 
Hey guys, let me give you a call back. I gotta be at this time. Okay, thanks. Thank you, bye. All right guys, hotel operations. There's two major components to hotel operations. Number one is your actual in-house operations. Your operations team, your operations management, your front desk, your housekeeping, your front line. Make sure to focus on those expenses, your vendor, your quality control, quality assurance, guest satisfaction, all of that good stuff that comes with hospitality. The second component, the second very, very important component, sales, selling. You have to get out there to sell your product. Marriott, Hilton, IHG, yes, they will give you a percentage of it. However, you have to have your own grassroots approach to building your own book of business. And what does that entail? Getting out there. Get your people out there and selling your product. And the operation side, make sure they have something to sell, something good to sell. So both parts of the business have to work hand in hand together. The operation side supporting the sales side and vice versa. There's an extraordinary synergy that happens when both of those arms of your operations are working hand in hand together like a well-oiled machine.